Hello everybody and welcome back. We did have right off the bat in recruiting a commitment. Strong safety Aaron Burks, a two-star out of Wisconsin. We're showing a little recruiting here before we head into our week six matchup against Boise State. We have a junior college middle linebacker, which will be nice for the short term. I'm going for a lot of defensive players like safeties and middle linebackers because well, we need those guys. <laughs> um, we're losing some in tight ends, too. And there's a lot of really good tight ends in this year's recruiting class, it looks like. Um, and then, I, as you can see here, I'm also going for some athletes. Um, and that'll kind of allow me a little bit of uh, freedom as far as where I can put those guys position-wise. Um, that's what's nice about athletes is you can, once you recruit them, you can put them at whatever position you feel is best. So here we go. 2-2, two and two, Boise State, they're 0-1 in conference play, but look at this. Joe Southwick and Grant Hedrick, the starting and second string quarterbacks, are injured. Which means Boise State is under their third string quarterback in this game, and he is a redshirt freshman who has not made a start this season. Um, so, he's on the road... Coming into his first start of his career at the college level. This may be our chance to get our first conference win. We're still winless in conference here, so we're looking to get things started on a, on a something. I don't know where I was going with that. On, on the right foot. <laughs> Here's we start out with the ball. And uh, the thing with Boise State is they're a very good defensive team. Very good, and there's an interception. The defender here looked like he was going to cover, uh, who was that, Jackson over there, but he went back and dropped over to Harden, and that caused me to throw the interception there, and there he is. I don't really know how to say this guy's name, but it has the word laugh in it, so I'm just going to call him Laugh. I think it's like Laugh Ray, probably, but uh, we do hold them to a field goal, and that's a pretty good feeling right there. So they couldn't really do anything on offense. And we were able to hold them strong. Hopefully we don't give them a short field like that again. Because that makes it easy for a, a quarterback like that. A Richard Freshman coming out of nowhere. But here we go. Harden on third down. Drops it. Can't really blame him. There was good coverage. And there are two undefeated teams going at it in the Big Ten. Iowa and Ohio State. There you go. We'll, we'll get more in that game in a little bit. But here he goes. The laugh guy running. Laughing all the way to the bank with 12 yards on the run. But uh, we do hold them second and 11 now. After a one yard loss by Harper. And our defense not looking too shabby. Trying not to give up too many yards here. Because that's something we've really struggled with. And uh, he's going to find more on this one. A nice little dump off. There. Second and five now as they're trying to get into field goal range again. And here he goes. He's just running, but we're we're trying to pop him in the chin there. Pop him in the mouth. Let him know, you know, who's boss here. But Burroughs shakes off a wimpy tackler. All of a sudden, it's 10 nothing, And uh, not looking too good. But Jake Miller, man, this, he has gotten better with every game. Talk about one player who has continually improved with his running game. Look at that. Hard running for the first down. He is getting the job done in second on 13. Look at this running. I mean, he's getting great blocks, but something he's just getting better and better. So second and 10, we're continuing just to run the ball at him. It'll be third and five as we start the second quarter. And here we go. Hendrickson rolling out, trying to find the open man. It's Jameer Jackson. He stretched that play and made it work. Jackson's been a clutch receiver. All season, and we're going to find R.J. McGill open in the back of the end zone. And what is he doing? Why did he drop that? Butterfingers McGee over there, or maybe Butterfingers McGill, I guess. Jake Miller, another run there. Third and six now. We're going to get a little cute with this draw play, and it's not going to fool the stingy Boise State defense. So we do settle for the Zeb Miller field goal. It's all right. It makes it a one possession game. Look at that drive tall play, 62 yards, not too shabby. Would have been nice to get a touchdown, but here they're going to find Lenahan, who's just 
running over people. I don't know what this guy's problem is. He obviously has anger issues. Just runs people over. And here is the turning point in the game. Laffer gets tackled. For, he gets sacked. And there Ohio State is leading 13-7. But this completely shifted the momentum. Because after this, their offense really struggled. And uh, we seem to have rattled the quarterback here after that sack. He just doesn't know what he's doing now. We finally got a good hit on him, let him know who's boss. And so on their next drive after we failed, they're going to the running game. Perhaps they're saving grace, maybe, since their quarterback can't seem to get the job done. But look at this defense. Look at that defense getting in the backfield. Third and three, they're going to run an offset eye formation, but no, Harper can't get to the marker. He is just inches short. And now, under two minutes to go in the first half, third and seven, Hendrickson back to pass, looking he has all day, and what? What was that? That was a terrible pass. Something we gotta improve on, but look at this. He can't seem to do anything now. He's all of a sudden, he doesn't know what he's doing, where he is. Maybe he suffered a concussion. I don't know. They're asking him on the sideline, do you know where you are? Do you know what your name is? And he doesn't seem to know. And because it takes another hit, Devin Benjamin, defensive lineman, look at him go. Here on third and six, now he's going to pass, and it's going to be Bailey Carr jumping that one, and he's going to go, he's going to go 20, 10, touchdown. And ladies and gentlemen, the beard of Bailey Carr, fear that beard, look at that beard. He takes it all away. And it's a tie ball game, ladies and gentlemen, against Boise State. They do have good field position on this next drive. 30 seconds to go in the first half. We're trying to get some pressure on this guy, man. That was the whole goal here. Blitz his face off. And he does make a poor throw here. It's Eric Merzero. Eric? I, I can't quite remember this guy's first name, but he makes the interception after they got a little greedy. The freshman quarterback can't quite get it done. So it is all tied up at 10. And going into halftime and this guy right here me this guy sitting here is very happy we go into the second half of play our defense has stepped it up that sack that interception he just this quarterback he can't do anything he's making horrible decisions and we're blissing him we're just getting in his face and saying we're making him beat us and they try the option there no cigars no cigars at all and so our next drive now, after that stall drive by Boise State, first and ten, Jameer Jackson, a seven-yard gain. We're feeling so confident, the momentum is on our side. Look at Jake Miller going off the left side. We're kind of off to left to center, and they're 80 yards as we start the second half. He's having a great game. Hendrickson looking at a, what was that? What was that? I don't even know, but third and eight now. And what was that? But hold on. Alright, here we go now. Boise State on their next drive. And Harper's going to get the handoff. He's going to go for a big, for a nice gain there. And then here he goes again. They're just giving it off to him. Feeling a lot more confident in his ability to run. They don't really want to pass the ball. They're a little bit afraid after our defense has kind of popped them a little bit here a few times but then we're starting to catch on our defense starting to really pick things up and our defense is playing much better in this game against San Diego State and there's the sack fourth and 23 the Boise State offense just went backwards on that part of the drive killed it tied at 10 third and nine with two minutes to go in the third quarter UND now wants to take the lead here but RJ McGill drops the ball and it's another failed drive for UND. So a defensive battle here after the game against San Diego State, which was an offensive score fest. Now the defenses are stepping up in this game. But no doubt, and here another sack. This one coming off the edge by cornerback Daryl Brown. He has two sacks on the day. Hard to believe a cornerback of all people. And look at this. This one is an absolute bomb of a field goal. Are you kidding me from 51 yards out? That's a pretty good kicker right there, I gotta say. So, 
13-10, Boise leads as we start the fourth quarter. Jake Miller gets the handoff on third down. We get a first down. Finally, it's been a little bit, it seems like, but uh, here we go. Sticking with uh, kind of some safe calls here, running the ball. But third down now, and oh, look who jumps the snap again. Jameer Jackson should have held on to that one. But as you can see, Hanson, our backup quarterback, had to come in for a few plays. Hendrickson was out with a minor injury. So, Boise on their next drive. What a ridiculous catch by Linehan. What was that? I don't even know how he caught that. But anyway, here we go. We get pressure. Devin Benjamin can't quite bring him down, but we force him to make the throw out of bounds. He is afraid. Make him afraid. That was our goal in this game, and we have somewhat succeeded, but Burroughs comes across on the slant. First down, man. Somehow the quarterback has 100 yards passing. But, uh... Anyway, here we go. He has all day! He has all day to throw. What are we doing? And I can't believe he didn't complete that. That was a terrible throw. He had all day to throw. And here we come right through, and who else but Nelson? Four sacks, six hurries... Our defense having a good day. So it's a 52-yard field goal. Can he put it through? He does. Barely puts it through. But it's still a one-score game. There's plenty of time. We run a halfback screen and Jake Miller. Look at him go. Look at this little guy go. Making the defense look a little silly there. If he only had a little bit more burst. But nonetheless, we set up around midfield. We're going to find Greg Harden, the star receiver, on third down. Not enough, but it's fourth and three, and I say we got to go for it. Enough of this punting. I mean, our defense could get it done, but we got to trust our offense, too. And RJ McGill comes up with a clutch catch to set us up with a new set of downs. Look at Jake Miller. He could go. He's going. The 10. He stopped. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe he couldn't quite get in the end zone there. But it's first and goal now, and we're kind of running the clock down. We want to leave as little time on the clock as possible. 140 to go, second and goal. Miller gets the handoff right side. About no gain on that play. So third and goal from the six-yard line here. Just over a minute to go. Hendrickson fake snaps, and it's a free play. It's a free play. They jumped offside, and oh, bad throw. But hey... It's half the distance to the goal, so we're going to get to the three-yard line on third down. So that cuts our cuts the amount of distance we have to go in half. We're still going to the air. Hendrickson rolling out, pressured into making a poor throw, and it's fourth and goal. I'm not settling for a field goal. This We're playing to win here, guys. Here, Hendrickson back to pass, dropping back even further, and I had a man open. The halfback was open. I did not see it. I got tunnel vision on that play. And was only looking at one receiver. And I didn't realize my halfback was open. Boise wins 16-10. to Hendrickson a horrible day. 29% completion. One interception. Not a good day for the passing game. Boise has a good defense. Miller, on the other hand, 125 yards. But that last big run, if only he could have gone all the way. Of course, receivers didn't have a good day because Hendrickson didn't have a good day. <laughs> so there you go. Daryl Brown, the cornerback, three tackles for a loss, two sacks for a cornerback. There, Bailey Carr, the uh, pick six. The only touchdown we had on the day, our offense just had a hard time putting an entire drive together against a tough Boise defense in the red shirt freshman 11 of 19 107 yards he was sacked four times through two picks our defense did what they needed to do um this game was on the offense our defense played about as well as they have played all season they didn't really give up too many huge plays we got a lot of pressure on the quarterback so this one was on the offense to get it done and they couldn't quite pull through we had the chance at the end of the game to take the lead that's frustrating there Brian Douglas two deflections but uh, Dan Goodale he had quite a game three field goals including two of 50 plus yards that's ridiculous but look at the total offense for both teams both just over 200 third down conversions horrible 
I mean, it's just very low yardage in this game for the offenses. Definitely a game for the defenses. Here's your NCAA Players of the Week. The Sun Belt seems to be making quite a few appearances, as I seem to notice within the past couple of weeks in there. Mountain West Players of the Week. Hawaii always seems to be on there for some reason. They seem to be playing well, I don't know. But anyway, here we'll get a look at the top 25 after... What, six weeks now? There you see USC at the top, Virginia Tech, TCU, basically teams that all, in real life, did not have good seasons, respectively. They were supposed to be good, and they didn't. But uh, they're, the undefeated teams are five. Five remaining undefeated, plus Arkansas State, six. I'm probably missing one more. There might be another one. But uh, there you go. Arkansas State, man, they're having a good season. Holy fudge. All right. But uh, anyway, oh, Utah's undefeated as well. I guess I should probably pay attention to stuff. But that's that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can see the San Diego State game. Previous video, if you missed that, you can check that out. Or you can check out my FIFA series, the My Player series. You can go ahead and, and find those. I just started that recently, so... You can get caught up pretty quickly, but uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I will see you guys all around next time.